Well, the video of me unboxing this didn't have sound for some reason. So, I just, I'm going to speed up the assembly video right here. And then I'll go ahead and tell you what's up. So, this is the Ender 5 Plus. It's a lot bigger in comparison to the Ender 5. And it's pretty loud. I'm going to upgrade it. I'll do videos on that. If um, if I've already done them, the link will be in the description. But it's a pretty big machine. It takes up a lot of room on the table. Uh, I like the touch screen. It's got a lot of menu options. One weird thing about assembly was I had a compensate for the z-axis even if I lifted the bed up it always was three millimeters too low uh, you see I'm running at 150 right now with a 60 degree temperature on the bed and it runs smooth and it prints good you see how good it's printing right there it's uh it's pretty good anyway so uh, since the sound wasn't on the assembly I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse the assembly right here and then uh, I'll let you know my final thoughts after the assembly So I'm printing uh, some Z-axis supports. You can see them right there. You can see the quality of the printer. The, the printer prints insanely good. I'm printing some supports for the tops of the Z-axis um, nuts, bolts, whatever you want to call them. Anyhow, the printer went together nice and smooth. Everything, everything was lined up. This bar wasn't messed up like it was on the Ender 5. Um, it seems to operate pretty good. The menu system is kind of weird. The auto leveling works pretty good, though. Like I said, it keeps it three millimeters below that it, where it should be. And I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Maybe there is, but I don't know how to do it. I have to look into it. The only thing I don't like is that the clips on the bed that hold them on are kind of, you know, chintzy. Just the metal clips. And if you look underneath there, the heating element is right there so if you keep using these these clips it's going to scuff the paint off that heating element and possibly short out or something i don't know maybe um 
you see I put a couple scratches on it the bed seems to scratch kind of easy but it's replaceable for like $25 or $30 so my first impression of this machine is it works it's a great machine for the price I think it runs for like $5.99 or something or $5.49 um, I'll put some links down below you can go to Amazon and check them out I'll put all the links to the all the different Ender printers. Well, not all of them, but the Ender 5 and the Ender 5 Plus and the Ender 5 Pro. Um, I got a motherboard that I'm going to upgrade, and that's going to make it a better Ender 5. It's going to make it silent. You can't really hear it, but it's it does it does make some good noises. Um, but it's, it's a nice printer. I've printed a lot of stuff with this one and the regular one, and they both seem to print really good right out of the box without any real modifications. Um, the only modification I had to do was this. You go to the adjust, and I had to compensate for the Z-axis. But besides that, it's pretty good. I made them on um, Tinkercad. I made them to fit right here on top of the Z-screws. Anyway, I'm gonna, I haven't done the upgrade back there yet. I'm gonna do that upgrade and the uh, Bowden tube upgrade. A little short video on that, because it's real easy. I'm just gonna do one little short video. And then I'm gonna do the main board upgrade also. Um, and then that should be it for now. I'm gonna move this printer over there in that corner and I'm gonna leave the other printer right there. Then I'm gonna do the acrylic on one of them. Probably the Ender 5 because it's smaller. I don't really, I don't even know if I'm going to print ABS. I'm not like hardcore printing. If you want a file that I have or something, just let me know and I'll drop the STL down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Drop a comment. Peace.